Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Psalms 23, verses 5 and 6. And it reads, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. I repeat, you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Now, I want to divide the scripture into two parts. And the first part says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Now, the key words here are prepare a table, presence, and enemies. Now, what do we understand by prepare a table? Uh, but before we go ahead, I'd like to speak about the previous verses. The previous verses was... Um, the first verse says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Now, David, who was a shepherd boy at some point, used the illustration of him moving to the position of a flock while God was a shepherd boy with a scepter. So here he was um, speaking about all the things that is required of a shepherd boy towards their flock and vice versa. So he said, Um, you prepare it before me in the presence of my enemies in the presence of my enemies so when there are enemies all around david had a lot of adversaries and while there were adversaries around god prepared a table before him god prepared comfort god prepared three square meals god prepared goodness god prepared favor God prepared loving kindness. So irrespective of the adversaries, the amount of the adversaries that was against him at that point in time, God prepared a table before him in the presence of his enemies. So because he reverenced God, because he followed after God, God selected him out. And when he had troubles, he prepared that table, that table of abundance, that table of goodness, that table of loving kindness, that table that was brought about by a favor which God gave unto David. So he prepared a table before him in the presence of his enemies. So irrespective of what his enemies say, irrespective of what his enemies do, irrespective of how their tongue wag, irrespective how of how they had planned to obstruct the blessings of God upon his life, God made a table before him in the presence of his enemies. Then he said, you anoint my head with oil. You anoint my head with oil. Now, what do we mean by anoint his head with oil? So here, God gave him an unction. God gave David an unction by anointing his head with oil. He gave him an unction to function. God gave him his, God endorsed his ministry, endorsed his office at this time. He said, you anoint my head with oil oil to do exploits, oil to defeat his enemies, oil to, to go to war and, and conquer, oils to go to war and be victorious, oil that helped him, that gave him the faith to defeat the uncircumcised Philistine Goliath. He said, you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over, my cup of abundance, my cup of goodness, my cup of loving kindness runs over. So God showed David abundance, God showed David loving kindness, God showed David goodness. So he said, my cup runs over, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me, goodness and mercy shall follow me. So here David was speaking about himself he said his cup runs over his cup of goodness his cup of abundance runs over then he says surely goodness and mercy shall follow me that's the goodness of god who follow him all the days of his life 
the mercy of God was shown by the goodness that followed him. So the mercy of God that endured forever was, was the one that followed David all through and through and made a table before him in the, in the presence of his enemies. So when he couldn't feed, the Lord made it possible for him to feed. When he couldn't clothe, the Lord made it possible for him to clothe. When he couldn't talk, the Lord made it possible for him to talk. When he couldn't walk, the Lord made it possible for him to walk because he made a table before him in the presence of my enemies. So God can select anybody and promote them at any point in time, irrespective of what any other person felt because the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and them that dwell therein were the, the belongings of the most high God. So he said, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me with goodness and mercy shall be behind him shall be ahead of him shall be at his right hand shall be at his left hand all the days of his life now this was a prayer this was a prayer of his faithful of god's faithfulness towards him so goodness and mercy was to follow him all the days of his life so irrespective of what he did irrespective of his shortcomings or his sins goodness and mercy had already been established to follow him all the days of his life then he said and i will dwell in the house of the lord now this is thankfulness this is gratitude this is goodness this is goodwill because he said i will dwell in the house of the lord so when goodness and mercy followed him he will go back and dwell in the house of the Lord because David was a man after God's heart. David was a man that loved God. David that loved God. And David was a man that also wanted to enjoy his position as a king, wanted to enjoy his position as a father, wanted to enjoy his position as the one that was, was a ruler at that time. So he said, I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Now, because of God, he understood that God has showed him goodness. He understood that God has showed him mercy. He understood that God prepared a table for me, him in the presence of his enemies. He understood that the rod which the shepherd boys held was a staff. The rod which the shepherd boys held had authority in it. So he said, Dude, he said, Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Now I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge on this word, that we will be able to walk with it and run with that. Ultimately, God gives us that grace that we might be able to have the spirit of endurance, spirit of strength, to be able to withhold situations, withstand situations, to be able to look situations in the eyes and, and defeat situations, begin to pass by situations because God is a God that is able, because God is a God that is capable at every point in time to pull us from every dungeon, to pull us from every problem, to take us from where, where we are, zero, to a place where we ought to be as hero, to be able to move us to where we ought to be. All this I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless, God bless. In Jesus name, amen, amen.